Hey guys, Michael with the GM's Library here, and today I want to create a map of a, a wood elf city. Um, wood elf city that you would find in the forest, <laughs> composing mostly of trees. Um, it's a very tribal city. Um, I've already painted the background with a nice forest uh, floor covering, background, and I have this tree, it's, it's a tree stump, but this, I think this works out because it's going to be a good way to, to kind of hollow out any um, any any interior rooms and, and, and mess halls that are, that are built within trees. So we have one in the middle, um, and then we're going to have a ton of other trees here. These are going to be a lot smaller. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and reduce the size there. Not too small because we still want it to... Uh, you know, give off a, uh, you know, this, this tree can't just be so massive tree in the middle, so um, we're going to keep it nice and uh, framed out here. So you kind of come in through this clearing on the southern wall, and it opens up really nicely. All right, so we'll have these, these tree stumps that you can enter uh, kind of on the outskirts here. They will be 10, 15, 20, uh, 20 by 50, 20, 20 by, you know, 25 feet. That's fine. Um, and there will kind of be a bunch scattered all around here. Uh, these will be homes that are maybe multi-level. Um, all right. I really want to focus here on this middle one. Uh, this is going to be like the main mess hall. I imagine all of the elves kind of meet in this one space. Uh, and um, you probably wouldn't expect a lot of tavern items. But you know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we can make. Okay, so that's about a little over 15 feet. That might be a little too big. Let's go like that, okay. I'm hoping this comes out all right. It might be too big or too small. Um, we'll have to just wait and see there. Throw in some barrels. Um, we are going to need a table and some stools. But I want to see what else, what other options we have. been trying to think a lot about the the culture that we'd have here and um, and you know imagine if you had to stay overnight what would that experience be like uh, I imagine they're all kind of in this you know dimly lit center tree um, eating uh, a lot of meats whatever they can find on, on hunts um, so they probably would not let a fire inside but all right, a little limited right now. Let's let's throw in a couple of other battle map uh, styles here. A lot of trees. All right, the tavern's the same. A lot more stuff for the dungeon and water and roofs. Okay, these might be good for the actual. Uh, Maybe. You know what? I do have an idea. Let's head back up to here for the original tavern. Alright. We're gonna we're gonna custom make our, our table. Uh, the table is not gonna be that massive. It's gonna be a good uh okay like that. And there were foods down here. Candles too. These are torches, but I know there are candles here somewhere. Um, but yeah, the foods here. It's the the small details that really matter. All right, so we're gonna throw some some meats here. Oh, you know what? They probably wouldn't have plates, right? Hmm. Maybe they could. 
maybe they've traded with nearby settlements, maybe travelers have traded with them. Um, it's a good call, it's a good call. Maybe we will add a nice plate, um, a neutral one. All right, we'll do this and this. Actually, you know what, let's resize them. about right let's go with boom boom we'll put a couple in there um, we'll slide the knee right on over there this is going to go down a layer and so will this one. Ooh, no let's undo that that was my mistake this is going to go down a layer Okay, I think I think now we've got it here. All right. All right, so we got some meats there. Why not put a couple sausages down? I know it's hard to see. I threw four on there. So we're going to send this down a layer as well. They could have eggs, they could have rugs, but I think I'm going to hold back on those so far. A basket filled with grapes could be a nice little touch. Maybe some people manage to go foraging. Let's let's move this over a little bit. This buffet style uh, dinner we've got over here. Hmm. If there's a river nearby, they could certainly find fish. Squid, maybe not. But um, but that's okay. All right. Let's keep on looking to see what we've got. Still got the animal rugs there. I don't really know if they'd have a lot of golden treasures. Um, a couple ideas I've had were for special berries and special fungus, maybe even, uh, I don't know, some magical items along those lines. Maybe not candles, maybe some lanterns. No, no, we'll probably stick with the candles. Still scrolling through. Ooh, elven cups specifically. Yeah, let's throw a couple of elven cups down. Um, not too big. All right, enough of the table. All right. So we need some seating, some nice earthy seating. Um, some walls. A lot of shelves, but no actual seating. We might have to stick with the tavern feel. And that's it's okay. Alright. We'll come back for the candles and the effects, but for now let's go with the tavern uh, benches here. This is going to be for a, not for a, an adventure that I have right now, but probably for a little quest I'm going to run tonight. Um, you know what, we'll put it right in the middle, that way when we have our characters actually uh, place their, their icons on them, it'll, it'll be pretty, pretty smooth. So. Imagine you've got your party, they come over here and start taking seats. There's going to be a lot of elves in the area, we need a lot of good seating, a lot of people standing around in corners, that's okay. Um, this is the big stuff, what else do we have? A lot of tree stumps. Uh, yeah, we'll throw some candles in there. 
candles that have recently been lit. All right, we'll put a couple of here. We're gonna come back to those candles. I'm gonna put a couple more tables down. I'm gonna assume that the entryway is gonna be down here. I'll probably have to add some, some custom stairs. All right, so this is gonna be a nice small table. About five feet, that's totally fine. Maybe we'll cut, put a couple of them in here. Messy is okay. I could shrink this down and make it look like a stool, but no, yeah, right here. Yeah, we're gonna put a couple stools around there. Nice. I want those candles back. I remember it right here. Okay. I'm going to keep these nice ones here and not do the random ones. All right. So, what else could we expect to see? We could throw a trophy in just for fun. That's okay. Probably have to be pretty significant, right? Okay, I'm gonna pan out for a little bit. Maybe I'll add some beds just to signify that these are, you know, residential. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to do the uh, these fancy double ones here. And we're going to bring up a layer. Oh yeah. Okay. It does not look perfect. I know that. But we'll take the big ones there and we'll put the big beds in. That makes the most sense to me. Um, I'll just slap those in and we'll do a couple of uh, small beds as well in the smaller tree areas. And obviously, I'm going to fix these up, rotate them so they make a little bit more sense. Doorways are probably a little bit more centrally located in the, in the middle here and that's that's fine these beds don't quite um, oops these beds don't quite uh, make sense um, with the uh, design you know a, a fancy cotton bed with <laughs> straw you know I, I'm not sure what they'd actually be sleeping in but this seems like it might not be entirely practical but that's okay in this case the point is just to you know convey that it's for you know so people know um, we're gonna do a small circular table as well probably two stools these are gonna be a lot smaller like much smaller all right one, two, ooh, didn't mean to do that. I'll do that, yeah. And I'll do that as well. That was my mistake. All right, gonna pop that in there. Gonna pop this one here. I do have a rogue in my group. I'm not sure if they're going to actually try to explore any of these houses. If they do, I'll pop a chest in. Um, and um, they'll have their options for, uh, well, not their options. We'll, I'll, I'll, you know, include some loot there, some Melvin clothing, anything that might be significant. Uh, one character has a huge crush on elves, so we're going to have to see if we can We are going to have to see if we can um, incorporate that, probably not into this map, but <laughs> into the story. Kind of thinking about both things at the same time. I've got the session tonight, and uh, I want to make sure that I have, uh, that I can take full advantage of, of everything here. We haven't come across many elves in our, in our quests. So, you know what? Just for fun, let's throw in a couple chests. 
We'll go with a nice simple one. Nice simple one, uh, a little bit bigger than that though. Try to think if I should just add, you know, stairs to indicate the door, or kind of leave it as is. Um, I'm, uh, I'm not quite sure what the best call will be just yet. All right, let's just smack them in. We'll do the fine tuning after they're in there. I tend to focus on these small details like having it placed exactly where I want it, but sometimes having it, you know, a little off adds that character that you need. Like this one, where the where would the entrance be? We'll put just stick the chest back there. And last but not least. Alright. So these chests might not have treasure, it could just have general items in it. Um, now, there was the whole debacle on whether we should include these steps, but, um, let's see what our, our options are. Um, yeah, stairs might be the better option. Limestone, no, elven, mm, actually, you know what? The green one. This might be a decent option. Okay, you know what? I kind of like it. We're going to stick with the big steps for the big hall. Um, and for these smaller trees, we're going to go with the small steps. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing where I kind of just slap... Oops. I'm going to do the same thing where I slap them on there, and I'll do the, the fine-tuning in a minute. So, imagine you're rolling up, you see this clearing in the woods, and there are just a bunch of really large trees. Obviously, this is where the elves have decided to make their home. Uh, there are some fancy, I, I like the green, because I, I, I really like the green. I think it goes perfectly with, uh, with um, that foresty look that we're going for. They wouldn't have chosen like a purple or anything, but maybe in your world they would. So, might be gonna just keep on fine tuning this so it at least kind of makes sense. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect because they're gonna have to be worked into um, existing, you know, roots and, and stumps. That's that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, see, right off the bat, you can see the beds don't really, doesn't feel like they really belong, but my point is for them to know that it's, that's the residential area, and the center is going to be kind of that main meeting area. Um, there does have to be a cooking station, so where are they going to roast their meats? Um, probably a campfire. We want a nice lit one. Um... Maybe right outside the hall, that wouldn't be a bad idea. So imagine you come up, maybe it's nighttime, they're all dancing around this big fire. Each block, it's a 40 by 40, each block is about 5 feet, so if we have this, it'll be a nice big bonfire. Um, got a village to feed. Um, Alright, now we need a... Mm, is it split or is it... No, 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 okay. <clears throat> Anything else that we can include here? No. Huh. I am going to keep a 
table outside that they can prepare with. I'll probably even slap a couple more uh, a couple more meats on there. Mm, I don't want it to look too you know carnivorous, but that might do fine for now. You could put a couple of sacks out there, make it look like um, all right, I'm gonna stack these. It's gonna look really nice. out a little bit and put that one right on top and we'll pull that up a layer. Beautiful. <clears throat> now again they probably wouldn't have a lot of fish in barrels but baskets filled with food I'll take that. Actually I'll this is actually really good okay all right let's get rid of some of these meats. We'll replace the meats with the baskets filled with food. Some apples, some sausages. You know what? Let's just get rid of the meats entirely. I love it when it all works out. And we'll do the potatoes. My one, I have a lizard folk in my party and he is going to go bananas over all of the meat options that they have here. Um, I'm going to get rid of this kitchen tag because that's not really helping us. Um, yeah, let's throw some bushes around as well. Um, brush. They need to stealth their way out. Gotta give them some options, you know. Make it look a little bit sporadic here. Probably haven't cleared out everything. And continue to frame out the entry to that area. Gotta include the rocks. Always. Just a couple. This is a forest. We probably wouldn't see too many large boulders exposed, but you know what? It's okay. So when I make these maps, it's usually just me exploring these these um, stamp ideas and seeing what what works and, and what won't work. Like right now, I'm gonna put a couple crates here, uh, right next to the right, right, right next to those sacks of food. All right. Um, Probably won't have a lot of this stuff. Maybe some weapon racks. You know what? In this main area, we'll we'll include the the weapon racks. I'll have to just use the theater of the mind to imagine that it's actually elven weapons and not battle axes. It's a lot of steel, but that's okay. I love some of the uh, the sea flora here. I would love to incorporate that somehow, but it doesn't seem to work here. Fly agaric. Mushrooms could be good though. Mushrooms could be really good actually. But they, they have to shrink a little bit. We need to make these smaller. Okay. Yeah, it's warning me to make those saves. And what would it mean to you guys if we had these specific mushrooms growing around the main, but kind of these other mushrooms growing around the smaller houses? I don't know. That mean anything to you guys? 
could be the source of life, it could be magic, it could just be pure luck, I don't know. Alright, so here's what we've got so far. You enter in through the south wall, you've got the main um, home inside of this giant tree. You've got a bunch of smaller trees surrounding it. It's a relatively small settlement. Um, let's do one last sweep before I call it. I think this is good so far. Um, not a lot of... You know what? Let's do torches as well. Let's just throw a torch. No. Oh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to ruin it. Maybe a candle on the outside. I believe there would be torches, but I'm not sure how I can actually get this to to look okay. They wouldn't just drill like these sconces into the tree. I guess, it, mm, yeah, maybe there would be torches planted throughout the area. Um, but I can't justify it in this moment right now. I'd have to do a little bit more thinking on that. Um, water skin, backpack. I like to add a little bit of life here. We'll throw a water skin right on the table. And that's going to come up a layer. Just to add a little bit of life here. Kind of randomly, like, you know, some of them have these water skins. Maybe some are adventurers. They go out and they hunt. Um,. Ooh, those are the nice crates. I'm gonna put these in rather than these these other ones. It doesn't quite match the style. Um, I say that and I, I instantly have to correct myself because I'm like, what style am I going for? These are kind of just random, random crates all over the place. And where would these even come from if they don't trade? I have to assume that they're trading. Do they have horses? That's a good question. Yours might. Yours might not. Um, I'm not even including the, the elves as, you know, in this. It'll, it'll be like elves as stamps um, in the actual gameplay. But I think actually for now, um, this, is, this is fine. Um, I was rolling with a drawn out one on roll 20 with just paint it, it's it was terrible just green scribblies for trees so actually framing it out with actual stickers and, and giving the the party a better look of what it actually looks like uh makes me happy this this is really nice so again residential trees are all around you've got the communal area um this is you know the most the closest thing to a tavern they might have you come here at night you're, you're drinking having a good time um I imagine these wood elves, these tribal wood elves dancing around this fire as they're, you know, doing their, their, their dinner at night. I think that this is a, a nice, small, secluded settlement. You probably find a lot of culture. I had to do a lot of research before making this map, and I did not find much. So if you have any ideas for, you know, what kind of, you know, just, just general ideas about the culture of, of these kinds of secluded wood elf tribal settlements. You know, share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear a little bit more about what you'd expect in a settlement like this. All right, guys. Um, you know, thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And um, check out the rest of my maps on my website. Thanks, guys.